Welcome to this celebration of uh, magnolias, including all sorts of uh, colours, shades of white and pink, and some large flowering varieties like this beauty here as we walk around the Klein Gardens here in South Wales. And uh, as well as magnolias, we discovered some other beauties such as these, and uh, some wonderful specimens of uh, rhododendrons in the early spring sunshine, and of course, as soon as we're in Wales, plenty of daffodils and narcissi, our national flower and a few rarities like this as well. So join me as we walk around Klein Gardens in South Wales. One of the first things that strikes you about this uh, lovely gardens here in Swansea, Klein Gardens, is that it's, uh, well, in the um, second half of March and probably into early April, it's a, it's a mecca for magnolia lovers. Uh, as a beauty there, I know you're going to be asking me what varieties these are. I'll see if I can find out some variety names but that's a beautiful kind of pink uh, and it's almost like a dark pink and purple at the base there catching the midday sun and then there's some more over here tiptoe through the daffodils right we'll head up that way afterwards there's a Japanese garden there Slightly later flowering one there, just starting to come into flower. And you can see there's some more buds still to, uh, to come. So that's going to be looking great well into April. And these look like star magnolias, yes. Uh, Magnolia stellata. There you are, I gave you a name for no extra charge. These are good varieties for a small, smaller garden. Just uh, the smaller flower, but also a, generally a smaller tree. That's probably 20 years old, that one there. And it's about... Uh, 12 foot high something like that four meters let's have a close look at those flowers look at that you can see why it's called the star magnolia beautiful eh? so if you're thinking about magnolias here's a good kind of picture of the kind of the choice that you have that one there would be a something like a sulangiana magnolia bigger flowers but eventually becomes a big well a medium to big sized tree that one over there is a magnolia stellata, which is much more compact, um, smaller flowers. But uh, if you've got a small garden, that's probably the boy for you or a pink version of it. Lots of different varieties of daffodils and another variety of uh, magnolia there, a stellata type that with a, a nice pinky flush to it. I wonder if it's got a smell. Let's have a look. Only the lightest of fragrances, but beautiful, beautiful. And still more buds to come. Now these are rather beautiful, aren't they? Um, and if you're thinking to yourself, wow, wow, look at this. Why haven't I seen these for sale? It's actually, I think I'm correct in saying it's been banned for sale because it's become almost like a notifiable weed. Uh, it loves wet, wet soil, which it's got here, and uh, very attractive, got an unusual kind of smell to it, but actually can take over, as you can see here. Um, and so now it's not allowed to be, as far as I'm aware, not allowed to be sold. Um, we can admire it, but um, because of its tendency to take over, we, uh, we can't propagate it. So there's a early flowering uh, cherry, I thought it might have been Prunus autumnalis, but apparently it's not. But uh, early flowering and rather gorgeous against the blue sky. Wow, what a difference a blue sky makes. And I can see some more cherries over there as well. Some beautiful trees here. Look at the, the shape on that pendulous weeping tree over there. Maybe a weeping beech? I don't know. Let's go and have a look. There you go. My guess was right. That is a beautiful, graceful. Uh, weeping pendulous beach there. Impressive uh, camellias here. Creating almost like a canopy of them for you to walk underneath. Or if camellias are your thing. Lovely. And some azaleas just starting to come into flower. These are, of course, the um, giant rhubarb. I say, of course, you may not recognise them. If you've got a wet patch, maybe a little bit of shade, a little bit of sun, 
these guys will grow huge, huge, huge leaves um, by the end of the summer, just starting to come back into leaf, uh, uh, having died back over the winter in this wet patch of ground. And within a matter of a few weeks, you will have leaves that are a couple of meters across at least. Uh, amazing plant in the right spot. Just admiring this other rhododendron and turn around. And this caught my eye. How beautiful is that? We almost walked past it from the other side and then just saw it in the, uh, in the sun. Apparently it's a type of um, winter hazel. Uh, I don't recall seeing this one before. It's nothing like the normal hazel, um, but rather beautiful.